Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. We have the judgment in reverse with the three of wands here. Something's, someone's keeping you on an edge here and keeping you waiting. There's someone here who's still not coming towards you with a reconciliation or someone's still not making up their mind. Someone's very indecisive about making a decision. And this is something that you're waiting on. So you're waiting for someone to come towards you with a reconciliation or they're waiting on you to come towards them with a reconciliation. But both of you are keeping each other on an edge. One of you is, okay? Because one of you or both of you have the fear of making the wrong decision. This is indecision due to fear and self-doubt, okay? But you're still waiting. So there's this waiting game going on. Waiting patiently and trusting the process, okay? Four of Cups, bottom of the deck. I have a feeling someone has fear of rejection here. Someone's not sure if you're going to accept them back. And they're just waiting for you to come back is what I'm getting. They're getting a higher calling, okay? They have an awakening. They have this realization that they should, but they're still going to wait on you because they're not sure if you'll take them back. I'm getting, yeah. What's going on on Capricorn's mind? What's, what's on Capricorn's mind when it comes to this person? the seven of cups in reverse and the five of cups here there was a situation here where probably you had a lot of expectations okay or there was something that you were not seeing clearly because you were living in your dream world or because you were just um in your fantasy world okay that's not thinking practically you were just in your dream world is what i'm getting however you see things very very clearly and this has to do with the situation in the past. Something in the past was very, very disappointing. You have a lot of regret, remorse, a lot of disappointment, okay? You probably feel you could have handled things differently. But now you see things very clearly, okay? You see things for what they are. Clearly, there's been a breakup, a separation here, okay? And with the five of cups here, you're crying over spilt milk. You feel you could have handled things differently a lot of could have would have should have okay but yeah you're out of your head now you're no longer in your head you're finally not living i think you could have been someone who was living in the future rather than focusing on living in the present and doing something about the situation but you had a lot of hang-ups what if what if what if okay because of which i think there was a missed opportunity is what i'm getting okay but you are you're in a lot of regret right now about what went wrong in the past pretty traumatized tell me about this person that capricorn is dealing with what's on, a, on what's on their mind what's going on on this person's mind okay we have the four of swords in reverse and the page of pentacles here someone's going restless okay they're mentally exhausting themselves about communication with you this person wants to come in and they want to communicate with you. They want to offer you an apology or they want to offer you something stable, something committed. This is a small offer, but it definitely holds a lot of value. They want to come out of isolation and talk. If there's no communication is what I'm getting, then you guys, this person wants to come towards you and talk, okay? They've thought a lot about the situation and they want to make a move towards you. But the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here, okay? This person is definitely looking towards you. They're very attracted towards you, okay? There's a lot of attraction here. This person has a lot of passion for you. They see you as the desired one. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, this person sees you as someone who they want something long-term with. However, I feel somewhere, somehow, this person is losing faith and hope that things will work out with you. See, that's what's happening here, right? With the judgment in reverse and three of wands here. There is this indecision here, okay? And someone's waiting on other person here. This is waiting energy but not making a decision, you know. And you, on the other hand here, you see things very, very clearly. You're no longer confused. This person could be someone who made you very confused, probably uh, put you, uh, had a lot of options, okay. I feel it's more like, you know what, you were very confused in the past. You were living in your bubble. Finally, the bubble's bursted, okay, and you see things very clearly. And whatever that is, eh, that is a situation which has to do with the past, okay. Very disappointed with the past. Whilst this person out here is getting restless and mentally exhausted and they're dying to come towards you and talk to you. But they're reaching like, almost like, heading
dying for burnout okay because they're obsessing about communication but they want it on their mind it's on their mind to communicate with you but they just don't know how to because they're coming in as a page this is someone who's trying to learn more about how to come towards you tell me how does capricorn feel for this person the knight of pentacles in reverse with a fool in reverse here you don't want to take a risk with this person this person is risky business or you think this person is not trustworthy okay this person's put you through hell and back and you're like you know what i'm no longer going to be a fool of investing into a situation that goes nowhere you're fed up of in investing into a situation which was just too slow moving or this person was just too slow to make a move towards you okay you could be dealing with someone you know who's very slow to commit or someone who had everything on their mind except a relationship okay this person usually is someone you know you're dealing with who's just like you know you feel strung along in this connection you know it's like dude i'm just getting dragged into this i'm getting strung along but where is this going you just had no idea where this was going you know and you're like you know what i'm not going to be an idiot again to give this an another opportunity here The other way of looking at this is the overall energy is also that you're not wanting to give something a second chance and I think you're wanting to grow and expand and you're looking the other way. I'm getting that now. Yeah. You don't want a reconciliation, okay? Because you're learning from your mistakes and you're looking the other way. You're looking forward, you're looking to, you know, this is forward planning, uh wanting to move forward, wanting to explore your options. That's what I'm getting. Even if you don't have options, you're just moving away from this person. Yeah, because see the full interverse here, the moon, the strength, the seven of pentacles. Look, you have deep emotions for this person, okay? But this person always makes you very insecure. You're concealing a whole lot of feelings out here, Capricorn. I'm not gonna lie, you're resisting this person. You're very, very, uh, you're you're trying to put in all your strength, your inner strength, your courage, and you're doing everything that you can to take to tame your emotions, tame the situation. and not to go back to this person because you're on wait okay you're on hold here you're you have the patience but you're putting things on hold you're waiting and watching you know it's like you're taking a stock of the situation of how much you've invested into this person it's been a long term investment this has been a long time in road for you you've put in a lot of work okay and a lot of investment into this person here again the feelings are there right but you're seeing but you're holding on to them you know you're just at your best and trying to you're wearing a veil you know you have like a false mask you're trying to keep your feelings deep within and again you're trying to tame your emotions you're just trying to do your best to hold back from this person and you will do whatever it takes it's taking a lot of strength from you capricorn i understand but it's just something where this is a situation where you're like you know what okay now i've come here now what do i do next is it really worth my time is this going to come into fruition Will the seven of pentacles turn into the ten of pentacles? Is there an opportunity here, or am I just going to waste my time, or is this going to be a, the same disappointing situation like it was in the past? Yeah, because it does look like it was a one-sided situation, right? This person could be someone who gave you the bare minimum, okay, or there was just a lack of reciprocity. Tell me about this person's feelings for Taurus, uh, for Capricorn. I don't know why I said Taurus. I just did Taurus. Give me this person's feelings for Capricorn. What does this person feel for Capricorn? Yeah. No wonder you feel strung along. The Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, that's what I was getting. This person's very slow to commit. They constantly have you on their mind. You're on their mind when they want to communicate with you. You're in their feelings. they think of you as marriage material they want to marry you but they're in no rush <laughs> sorry that i just had to say they're in no rush to marry you they're in no rush of committing to you and this is unlike the knight of wands who want things done yesterday this person's going to take their own sweet time this person's being very very patient with the process here okay so the third scenario i'm getting is that someone is in no hurry to reconcile that's also what i'm getting a lot of scenarios here just take what resonates okay 
but I think with Rampton's here, this is someone, you know, who's waiting for divine timing and they're more like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, but it's not like they don't have you out of your mind. They have you and only you on their mind, okay? And they're wanting to marry you. They see you as the rock of the relationship. But again, they're not taking any action in their feelings. They're just like, you know what? Very, very slow, very slow. Could be that this person's very focused on their money, but I don't see that. Because see, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the death and the Three of Pentacles here. This person is giving you the silent treatment right now, okay? They're choosing to keep their emotions to themselves. They want to work on a partnership with you. They want to rebuild this connection with you, this marriage, commitment, whatever it is. But they're going through a huge transformation here. A huge, massive transformation here right now. You probably don't even know about it. And that's why with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here, this person is trying to um, get rid of any toxic habits, any toxic patterns that were coming between you and them, okay? But this person is going through a lot. See the Ten of Wands here. This person is very overburdened with, overburdened with a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot of load right now, a lot of shit coming at them right now. And probably they're not even communicating with you about this. I'm, I'm just getting absolute no communication, dead silence, radio silence between you guys. But right now, I think this person does not have the confidence that they can get things off ground with you. It's more like because they're doubting themselves, okay? Do they have everything that they need to get this off ground with you? Because they're coming up as the page there and they're looking at you as the queen of pentacles, right? So they don't know if they're going to be able to handle you, if they're going to be able to take care of you or if they're going to be able to, ex able to give you exactly what you want, okay? I'm getting someone who's not sure if they can live up to your expectations. But it's just that they're too slow, okay? They're making you wait. They're making you wait. And that's why you're feeling the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because you just feel like, I mean, nothing's happening. And I'm just here waiting for what? For who? You know? Tell me what is the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy between Capricorn and the person they're dealing with? Three of Pentacles. You both want to work on this. You both want to make this happen. But two of swords and the seven of swords here, you're both doing nothing about it. You're in your head, both of y'all. Y'all are absolutely thinking, y'all are being very um, closed off right now to each other, okay? No one's addressing the elephant in the room there. Both of y'all are hiding your feelings. You're both being very deceptive, okay? Both of y'all are not being true to yourself, okay? More than true to yourself, I feel you both know that you love each other, okay? But it's just that you're both trying to hide your feelings, okay? Trying to hide your intentions. You're both not doing anything about it. You're both being very detached right now, but you're both at a stalemate. One person feels a certain way. One person views the situation in one way. The other person views it in another way. You view it as someone, you know, where this was disappointing. You know, this person probably put you, kept you in an option or this person keeps you strung along. This person views this as someone where they're getting restless about the situation. They want to approach this, but they want to take their own time. Okay. So there's like a stalemate here. Okay. You're both at a halt here. Things are stagnant. Nothing's happening here. No one's making a decision. Again, I'm getting no one's addressing the elephant in the room. You both know what the problem is, but no one's ready to talk about it. And you're both hiding your feelings. At least one of you is, okay? Concealing your feelings. You're trying to just, you know, get away with your feelings, you know? But I feel that you're just not being honest with your feelings. You both are or one of you is not at least. See? The lovers, the high priest, just three of pentacles here. You're both giving each other the silent treatment. Both of you all know so much. You both know exactly what's going on, but no one will talk. The lovers here, this is a reunion. You both want this union. You both realize this is a twin flame connection. Okay? You're both wanting to get back to each other, but... What action will Capricorn take towards this person moving forward? What action will Capricorn take moving forward towards this person? What action will Capricorn take moving forward towards this person? You're ending things with this person. With death. You're clearly choosing to end things with this person because with the Three of Swords, yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak. You're putting an end to this heartbreak. You're putting an end to this um, 
this heartbreak, heartache, emotional distress, breakup, separation, okay? You can't handle it anymore. You want to get over this breakup. You want to get over this. I think you're wanting to move on here. You've had enough and you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're just sitting there crying, moping and thinking constantly about the past here. Because you have a lot of clarity here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. You're very clear. You see things very clearly, okay? You know more in your illusions, living in illusions like, oh, something will work out, something will work out. It's like, no, I see it. It's just disappointing. It just didn't work out. So it didn't work out, you know? You're grieving a loss here. And in your feeling, you're just like, you know what? I don't want to move. I don't want to move forward anymore but you're ending this okay it hurts you it hurts you like crazy but you just feel like you have no choice but to end this seven of pentacles strength seven of wands in reverse ten of cups in reverse you're being very honest and very straightforward about how you feel about this person okay you know you love this person you have a lot of feelings for them okay but the thing is that if this is getting nowhere you're not ready to be strung along See, Ten of Cups in reverse here. This is a relationship that once made you very, very happy, but it doesn't make you happy anymore. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. You're giving up on this connection. You could have once, you could have once uh, been fighting for this connection, okay? But now you're losing ground. You, you're giving up on this. See, again, you're holding back your emotions. Very hesitant, very, very resistant, okay? Seven of Pentacles here. You're constantly looking back at the growth, okay? Like was this ever going to come into fruition or you're just waiting and watching but with the death here it can be an ending to this okay you're putting an end but i feel it's more like you're putting an end to this pain and trauma that this person has caused you okay you want to move on you want to recover you want to heal right you want to put an end to this negativity you want to, because this person cut you through really deep okay this person could have had a have an why can't I rock? This person could have had an had a habit of sabotaging the connection is what also what I'm getting. What action would this person take, take towards Capricorn? What action will this person take towards Capricorn? not happy at all ten of cups in reverse here but you know what the problem here is this person needs to make a decision they're still at a crossroads again i'm saying i feel this person needs to make a choice and this time they're wanting to choose something different probably this person always chose everything else over you you know they always had a choice between you and something else or someone else but this time they're choosing a different path here with the two of wands here with the wheel of fortune this person wants to make a positive change okay or they're hoping for positive change and they're wanting positive growth and expansion with you. And they're very clear about that, okay? They're very clear about that in their head, okay? I think this person will communicate with you. But with the Ten of Cups in reverse here for right now, this person is absolutely unhappy without you, okay? Absolutely unhappy. There's that lack of emotional fulfillment that they got with you, right? It's just not there because you're not there. You both have the Ten of Cups in reverse here, right? But the thing is that you're letting it go because you didn't get that happiness from this person. This person is unhappy because they couldn't give it to you, okay? They were very happy with you with the Ten of Cups here. But somewhere, somehow, there was this uh, breakup or there was a situation where you guys were just not coming on the same page, okay? The World in Reverse and the Page of Swords here. This person refuses to end things with you, Okay? They're keeping things unfinished. They're not doing anything about it. They're still stuck in that same pattern out here, okay? Still watching you from a distance, stalking, spying, but not doing anything about it. They're probably thinking of communicating with you. I see the King of Swords here, right? But I do see this person as wanting to communicate with you, okay? And they're gonna be very clear about what they want and what they want with you is growth, expansion, okay? They want forward movement with you. They see you in their life, okay? They see you as something very destined and fated in their life. But till they are at the page of swords here, the communication is going to be as good as nothing, okay? Let's see what the outcome is. Will they finally reach out? Will they gather the courage and reach out and have a more, uh, and, uh, and communicate with you in a more mature way? Or are, just going to, are they just going to watch you from a distance and do nothing about it? Because you're both at a stalemate here. Tell me what is the best possible outcome for Capricorns in love for this spread, please.
five of swords in reverse and the nine of swords here. I feel there's someone who wants a reconciliation and they're stressing about this. See? They want a reconciliation. They're dropping their card. Okay? This person is wanting to come back towards you. They're done playing games. Okay? This person kept playing man games with you. Okay? All the time. This person wanted to win at any cost. Like, I will do whatever it takes. I will destroy myself, but I will win. Okay? That's how they treated you. But now they're done playing mind games. They're done sabotaging this connection. Remember I told you in between that this is someone who has a tendency of sabotaging this connection. They're done sabotaging this connection. And now that they're done with it, they, they're addressing their real true feelings for you and that's putting them in their head, in their head with the nine of swords here. They're, they're having sleepless nights. They're going to be up at light, stressing, burying, re remorse, regret about what they did. And they're just constantly in their head. But this is a lot of ponder, ponder, ponder and no action. So yeah, I don't promise you action, but I do promise you that they want to come back, okay? They do want to come back towards you. The point is that by the time they come back, I have a feeling that you've given up and accepted defeat and you've just given up on this situation. I don't think there's much forward moment here but um, again this person is just stressing about a reconciliation but when it comes to taking action when it comes to communicating I don't think there's much they're just still watching you from a distance keeping an eye on you okay that's what I have for you caps hope this reading resonates with you do leave your comments below and I will see you next time bye, -bye.